Good morning, and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Shayla Stowagen. And I'm Austin Lamana. Today is Wednesday, August 18th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Are you interested in trying out to be Howie the Hawk? Tryouts are today at 3.15. WSRH News reporter Haley Allen has the story. Every year, Howie the Hawk can be seen at football games and pep rallies. This year, SGA has decided to let any student from Seminole Ridge High School try out to be Howie. Today, I'm here with Allison Santos for more on the story. So, Allie, when are tryouts? Tryouts are today at 3 p.m. Where will they be located? Uh, room 6101, the SGA room. What are the requirements to have to be able to try out for Howie? So, you have to be really loud and energetic, preferably on the taller side, like 5'8", but just super loud, fun, energetic, that's it. Will you be having to wear the Howie costume at trials, or can you show up in any clothes? You can show up in any clothes, show up after school. Um, you will be trying on the costume at tryouts, but it's not a big deal. Okay, thank you for talking to us. For WSRH News, I'm Haley Allen. Seminole Ridge is hosting tryouts for the award-winning Hawks dance team. WSRH News reporter Bella Savoya has the story. I'm here with Ms. File, the coach of the dance team, to talk about tryouts. So, Ms. File, when are the tryouts? Um, tryouts are actually next week. They start on Monday, but they go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, right after school until 6 o'clock, every single day. Um, you have to be there all four days to try out. It's really important because we're teaching new material, and we basically just want to see who can learn it and who can pick it up. Perfect. So, do you have to have any experience to join the dance team? Um, you don't have to have any experience. It definitely helps, but you don't have to have any experience. We pretty much teach you what you need to know. Um, we're really just looking for people that can pick up on things again quickly and um, are willing to learn, are going to put in the time, going to put in the effort, and really want to be a part of the team. Perfect. Last question. Where will the dance team perform if you make the team? Um, if you make the team, the team actually performs at a lot of school functions. We do pep rallies, we do football games. Uh, second half of the year, we actually start going to competitions and winning competitions. We've been pretty good so far. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really exciting. We get a lot of performance opportunities. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WACRH News, I'm Bella Savoya. Do you wish to park in the student parking lot this year? In order to obtain a parking decal, you must have at least a 2.2 GPA and at least 20 community service hours. Make sure you check your email for parking confirmation and then come to Student Services to pick up your decal. You may not park on campus until you have received approval. It may take one to two school days. Students who are found in the parking lot without proper approval will receive parking violations and are subject to towing. If you already have a parking decal and are constant, consistently tardy to school, you may have your parking privilege suspended or revoked. Remember, student parking is a privilege, not a right. As of yesterday, you can write out a locker for the entire school year. All students interested in obtaining a locker must see Miss Ahmad in room 5102 to be assigned a locker. The price for the locker is $10 and is able to be paid in cash or on school cash online. School agendas are on sale for $6 in room 7102 or on school cash online. They are almost gone, so get one now. Have you ever wanted to fly a drone? Well, you're in luck. Seminole Ridge just opened up their brand new drone class. WSRH news reporter Liam Kane has a story. We're here with Mr. Mould, the new drone teacher at Seminole Ridge. So, Mr. Mould, are you excited to start teaching this class? I'm really excited about teaching this class because this class is going to provide the best opportunity for students to get their actual drone pilot's license and become an unmanned aerial vehicle commercial drone pilot. So theoretically, they could get uh, various certifications along the way, like drone safety, visual observer, and lastly, we will prepare them for their actual commercial drone pilot license. So I'm really excited about that. How many students are currently enrolled? We have two full classes, full meaning about 20. And can people still enroll in the class? Absolutely. We're kind of easing into it because the roster's changing and students are coming and going, so it's not too late to get started if you want this class, even if we go over the 20. So what kind of drones will, we, will you be using for this class? We're going to use different types of drones. We're going to start easy and fun with the micro drones, and we'll do things like drone Olympics, little obstacle courses for the drones where we'll fly around things and under things with small drones, little tiny quadcopters. And then we'll move up to the uh, general purpose industrial type uh, drones from Skydio, and they're the coolest drones on the planet. We'll have the Skydio drones soon. And then lastly, hopefully by the end of the year, we will have enterprise level, we'll have two enterprise level professional drones. 
And I heard you have a partnership with FPL. We do. Next slide, please. Uh, oh, okay. So there's the fun and excitement. Uh, one more. We, we do. We have an informal partnership with FPL. In fact, this class was, uh, I believe, FPL's idea because they need drone operators. They need uh, drone pilots that can go out and do infrastructure inspections and not have people climbing poles and driving around in trucks so much. All right. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Liam King. Hey, freshmen. Interested in purchasing a Class T t-shirt? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Cia Folletti are selling Class of 2027 t-shirts for $15 cash or check-in room free 205. You can stop by in the mornings or afternoons this week. The Black Student Union will be having an interest meeting on Monday, August 21st at 315 in room 3203. See Ms. Wright for more details. First Priority is having a meeting this Friday, August 18th from 3 to 4 in room 9103. For those who are interested in First Priority is a club focused on reaching our campus for the gospel and centered around Christian community. Interested in joining the TV club? Their first meeting will be tomorrow, Thursday, August 17th, from 3 to 4 in room 4102. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Wright, Mr. Wright. After the first five days of school, let's see what the freshmen think of Seminole Ridge. WCH News reporter Ryan Hansen has a story. Good morning, Hawks. We're on our fifth day of our 2023-2024 school year, so that means we're wrapping up our first week of high school. So we're going to go around and ask the freshmen how their first week of high school was. So how was your first week of freshman year? It's pretty good. So how was your first week of freshman year? I would say it was pretty good. The teachers are really nice, and I like the school, so. So how was your first week of freshman year? It's been good. It's not what I expected, but it's better than I expected. So how was your guys' first week? Uh, my first week has been pretty good. I've liked all my teachers so far, and I'm excited to do the construction program. Yeah, same. Um, my teachers are pretty good. I had a pretty good first week, yeah. Well, it sounds like it's been a pretty good week for the freshmen, and for WSRH News, I'm Ryan Hansen. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. Hey, bro. You want to hit this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, dude, it's safe. Don't you trust me? Well, if you say so. Want to hit this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, bro, don't you trust me? <laughs> well, if you say so. The chemicals found in jewels and other e-cigarettes contain the same harmful metals like lead that are present in gasoline. Visit www.thetruth.com for more information on the harmful effects of these. Shayla, where do lightning bolts go on dates? Where? Cloud 9. Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Anna Mickmans with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. For today's weather, we have a high of 90 and a low of 75 with scattered thunderstorms. Looking at our three-day forecast, on Thursday, we have a high of 89 and a low of 75 with scattered storms. On Friday, Friday, we have a high of 92 and a low of 76 with scattered storms. And on Saturday, we have a high of 87 and a low of 77 with scattered storms. For WSRH weather, I'm Anaya Means. We have a happy birthday going out to Fenya Bacaldell, David Bruno, Donovan Rivera, Lauren Wittengarten, Jackson Albrecht, Lucas Lemus, Nicholas Maya, and Jacob Baker. Happy birthday, Hawks. WSRH sports anchor Kira Taub joined us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Kira Taub bringing you today's sports. Golf tryouts started yesterday and will be continuing today, August 16th, at Madison Greens Golf Course at 3.30 p.m. Your Activate must be approved to try out. If you have questions, please see Mr. Tiemann in room 7 to 13. See you there. Ladies, are you interested in trying out for the girls golf team? If so, trials are today, August 16th, after school at Madison Green Country Club. Our JV and varsity co-ed makeup trials are this Monday, August 21st, from 3.15 to 5.15 p.m. in the cafeteria. Anyone interested must submit a completed cheer application and program participant contract to Coach L in room 4214 by the end of the day on Friday. For more information, please go to the Cheer Google Classroom with the code KMNCGUJ. Varsity all-girl cheer trials are today to August 18th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. In order to try out, you have to be cleared and activate. Make sure to wear cheer shoes, white socks, red shorts, and a plain white tee and hair back with a bow. Hope to see you there. Our swim and dive team is starting up this year. Interested in trying out? WSRH news reporter Taylor Sims has more on the story. Today I'm here with Ms. Pelfrey about the swim and dive tryouts. So Ms. Pelfrey, how many returning players do you have this year? 
I don't know yet because we've only had about six to eight people show up so far, and I usually have a team over 30. Um, there's a lot of kids still showing as pending in the Activate, and I don't know if they're just dragging feet or what, but um, I need all the swimmers, if you're coming back, that you need to come talk to me or Ms. Weber so that we know that, but um, the tryouts have started on Monday. It's, we have to have a tryout week, but basically it just means come, get in the pool, and let's start practicing. So what requirements do you have to have to join the swim and dive? Well, first you have to meet the activate requirements, which is the eligibility. So they have to get all their, um, their physical, pay their insurance, do all those kind of things. Come with the right equipment, show up at the pool, and we help you do the rest. Is it a girls and a boys team? It is. It's a co-ed team. Thank you. Right, thank For you. WSRH News, I'm Taylor Sims. Taking a look at today's sports calendar. There are no sports today, but our first preseason football game will be this Friday night at Martin County. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Kara Taub. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Austin LaManna. And I'm Shayla Stowagin. Remember that you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.